Hello beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to my channel, Miss Reen Healings. My name is Reen. Welcome into your February reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aquarius on your soul to soul connections. This could be for soulmate, twin flame. Please take it however it resonates with whatever journey that you are on here on Earth in this lifetime. Um, messages may also arise to help heal you, to help guide you, ascension, awakening, work, friendship, family, career, any messages, okay? We just go with the flow. And my stomach just growled, I don't know if you heard, <laughs> sorry. Um, my setup is a little bit different, I'm just, I'm feeling super comfortable right now on my couch, so I'm just going to read here today, I just feel comfortable here right now. I did a video for you yesterday um but it was upside down so i don't know <laughs> i turned it the other way and i re-uploaded it and it was still upside down so i thought maybe that was a sign that either things are upside down for you or it's just not a message to put up there so i'm gonna try today <laughs> it's never happened before this is the Angel Tarot deck that I'm using first, and then we'll use the Golden Universal deck, okay? We're just going to get a few messages here. Calling you all divine holy energies, guardian angels to assist in this reading and bless this reading and protect us. Thank you. Okay, so this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aquarius. Let's check your overall energy. All right, at the bottom of the deck is King of Cups commitment. Okay, so this is what is being acknowledged in February. The King of Cups is coming through with this energy. I guess we have a love focused reading. At the bottom of that, you have ideas. I feel like someone here is having an idea, is pondering, is thinking how to come forward to you. I want to get a few other messages here just to, it could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I feel like this person hasn't really opened up. I feel like you're waiting for them to open up or to communicate their feelings. Um, see here, this this king is in a shell and the shell is open. So I feel like they are opening up, okay? This could be what you're waiting for, them to open up. This person could have a beard, a uh, long hair beard is what I'm seeing here. It doesn't have to be. And we have lost. Five of Swords. Okay. I'm feeling like this person is feeling your loss. So this was actually, <laughs> this is interesting because yesterday's reading, I picked up that someone was looking at you, but you were looking the other direction because they weren't being open. So you were just done with it. And I even titled the reading, they're feeling the loss of you and you are just vibrating high. So actually, it's the same, it's the same message. Um, so here we have loss and commitment. So someone is feeling a loss. Someone is feeling like they're losing you, okay, or have lost you. So take it in whatever situation that you're resonating with. And we also have victory here, the Ace of Swords at the bottom of that. So I want to leave it here. And I just want to go into the tarot. To dig a little bit more deeper, we're going to use the Golden Universal deck. Um, this loss here is speaking quite profoundly to me at this time. It's the energy of loss. So take it how it resonates, but I feel like for some of you, Either you were in a commitment with them and you guys broke it off because there was just some issues in the relationship. 
for some of you, um, I'm feeling like you walked away, regardless of whichever situation, I feel like you walked away from this person or you almost give this person an ultimatum because it was time. It was time to move forward. It was you could not stay stagnant in that energy anymore of not knowing, of not moving forward. And it just, you needed it to be known. You needed something from this person in the sense of clarity, okay? You needed clarity from this person. So I feel like you are getting that clarity, okay? Maybe this communication. Because this Five of Swords, to me, this loss feels very unclear, okay? So I feel like this person is trying to become clear, but I don't feel like you two are together right now, or if you are together, you have been at a distance emotionally, maybe not physically, for some of you maybe, but what I'm feeling is an emotional distance, and I'm feeling like some of you actually walked away. I'm really sitting in this energy right now, like I want to keep going, but I feel like I'm being dragged, um, or not dragged, but I feel like I'm being like pulled in this energy. Um, Cause I, I feel like you've been here before with this person. Like you've been in this energy with this person of stagnation and you really want to move forward. Yeah, see, at, so the bottom of the deck is Six of Swords and you have the hangman right underneath that. So exactly what I was feeling, it's this energy of stagnation. And you've been in this energy before with this person and you just want to move forward. You want, you want to move on. So I feel like they're feeling like they're losing you or they have already lost you because we are on different timelines. <laughs> so it can be either or whenever you find this reading. Um, okay, but they're either losing you because you are moving away from them or they have lost you because you have moved away. But the point of the matter is, is you wanted to move forward and get out of this stagnant energy. Okay, but what's on their mind right now is the loss and they're thinking of how can I come clear and open up is the energy that's coming forward right now. All right, so let's get some more clear um, energy. Wow. Okay, so five of swords again. <laughs> so we have five of swords twice. So this is just confirmation of the energy, okay? So they're really feeling your loss. See, I feel like you just kind of gave up. You didn't want to try anymore. You didn't want to have this, like, it was like a repetitive, hey, what are we doing? Hey, are we going to move forward? Hey, what are we? You know, we've been doing this dance so all over again, um, over and over again. What are we doing? What are we doing? What's your move? I feel like this person... It's not like they were trying to get one up over you. I feel like this energy is more... Their inner conflict was transferred onto you, okay? Their inner conflict was transferred onto you and ultimately in this situation as well between the two of you. That's too many, but no, that's too many. There's like four cards. Ace of Wands. So we have two aces here, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. Queen of Cups. You know what you deserve. You're also very sensitive. I feel like this situation is very triggering for some of you. Um, I, what I feel here with this Ace of Wands is, yes, there's a lot of passion between the connection. That's undeniable. But this Ace of Wands, because I see here the Queen of Cups, I feel like you are really focused this month, Aquarius, on your own passions. 
I feel like you're really standing up for your worth. You're really acknowledging your, your own cup of love, right? So we have king and the queen of cups. And see here how they're not looking at each other. I mean, if I hold it this way, they are looking at each other. But I'm holding it this way because I feel like... I feel like you both want the same thing, but it's not on the same page yet is kind of what I'm feeling here if that makes sense <laughs> but I feel like see here how this person is looking at their cup okay so I feel like you're looking inwards you're looking at yourself you're really focused on you on self-love and self-nourishment and I feel like this is more of an alignment here is what I'm getting. Like you're really aligning to who you are. Really focus heavily on your own passions. And I feel like that's really going to gift you with new beginnings the more that you focus on yourself. Because I moving away from this person was the right thing to do. Okay? Or at least stepping back. Distancing yourself. Yeah, the hermit. Could be dealing with the Virgo. Wow, Ace of Cups. <laughs> Ace of Cups and look at that, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, someone is missing your love. Someone is missing your affection. Someone is missing the way that you were to them, how nourish nourishing you were, how beautiful the bond was between you two when it was really filled with this unquestionable love, this unquestionable scenario. Like when you two didn't question what you guys were or where you guys are going or when this person really was vulnerable in themselves towards you, it was really good. Like it was very beautiful. And I just feel like they're missing that right now. They're really feeling that loss. So we have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. I think it's fair to say at this time that you, and you are looking for a new beginning as well as this person because I am seeing a sense of alignment Okay, and I'm also sensing some sort of resolution here as well with the Six of Swords. So like I mentioned, you both are thinking of the same thing, but it's a matter of coming together on the same page. Okay, so I'm going to take these three cards that fell out. Because <laughs> they kind of came out quite abruptly and... It pushed out the King of Cups again. Okay, so we have confirmation. Okay, so King of Cups twice. So this is what's on this person's mind. Commitment. The way that they love you. The way that they feel towards you. Are they going to offer this cup? Are they going to renew? Are they going to come forward? Can they close the cycle? This is about closing cycles. Can we make a resolution? Can we close the cycle and move away from it? Is what I'm getting here. We have the Year of the Sun. This is a big potential of yes. This is my yes card. <laughs> this is a yes. And we have here the Empress at the bottom of that. So, yes. Three Aces, the Sun, King of Cups twice, Five of Swords twice. I mean, the energy here is just confirming the overall energy of this person really feeling the loss of you. They're feeling it right now. And I think this month of February <laughs> doesn't help because this is, you know, known in society as the month of love so i think that's what's on this person's brain this person has love on the brain and i just heard the rihanna song and it's 
it's not gonna lie, it makes them very uncomfortable, but it also brings a sense of joy to them. Yeah, see, this person is planning the Two of Wands. So I feel like an alignment here is happening when this person decides and makes a choice, okay? This person is aligning to what makes them happy, to what makes them feel alive. They want to just do what makes them feel good. And I feel like there's some mirroring here as well, um, is, is kind of what I'm seeing here because because you retract, this is you. I feel like you're the one that isolated yourself from this person and they're feeling the loss. So I feel like you're really introspective at this time. You're really focused on self. You're really focused on raising your vibration. You're really focused on alignment for this month. Um, wow, Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see how many Aces come out here. A lot of um, alignment is, is happening here to close out chapters for new beginnings. Um, so I think that's what you're trying to do. And I think this person is now feeling, okay, I, I, have to, I have to do something or I'm going to lose that person. And I think that you're you, either way. I think that you're okay with whatever happens because I feel like you're very secure in Aquarius. I feel like you know you have a lot of inner wisdom here, higher wisdom here. And I think, you know, I don't think being alone scares you because really we're never alone. And I think you're very comfortable being by yourself, but not in a, in a bad way because actually being by yourself and and loving your company is loving your own company is the best thing you know like that's a beautiful thing when you get comfortable and really enjoy yourself and i feel like that's kind of where you are and this person is really feeling that they're really feeling that i'm really feeling your loss Four, four of Pentacles. With the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. This person could, or you, um, could have gone through some financial issues. Maybe there was some sense of control here as well. I'm also getting like controlling the pace of how things should progress. Controlling emotions. Yeah, Eight of Cups. See, you walked away because they weren't giving enough. You walked away because it was time. You could have walked away because maybe they were too controlling in, in this situation because they weren't opening up, right? Remember going back to the King of Cups here with the shell and the shell is open. So maybe um, this person is trying to get into that energy of opening up, but I feel like in the current the current energy or the recent past energy, they were very, 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 very controlling, very closed off. Like nothing, nothing came in, nothing came out. Very controlling. And you walked away. The Eight of Cups is um, clarifying the Ace of, Eight of Cups clarifying the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this is what you're moving towards. You want, that nourishment you want that new love you want to go towards unconditional love and like i said i feel like you're okay with either if it's not this person or someone better i feel like you're okay with that i feel like you have already come to terms with losing this person but i feel like they haven't come to terms of losing you they just didn't give enough they did not give enough, so that's what you walked away from. Wow, okay, so <laughs> we have here the Seven of Swords and the Tower came out together. And these two cards are clarifying the King of Cups. So this person, yes, yeah, this person did not open up. This person was deceiving themselves. This person was putting on a false mask. They were saying, I'm going to control 
I'm going to control the situation. I'm going to control how things should progress. I'm going to control what I give and what I don't give. I'm going to even control what I receive. This person was controlling everything to the point where the divine had to intervene and to the point where you had to walk away. So this was this was a breakup. This was a a distancing. This was a departure. So take it how it resonates, okay? But I feel like there was a a, a like a breakaway from this energy because I feel like you couldn't tolerate it anymore. They wore a false mask. There, the truth always reveals itself, even if it's not spoken, it's felt intuitively. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot. Uh, I'm going to take it all. All right. Okay. So the cards that came out that are clarifying the world is the star, the fool, and the magician. So we have four major arcanas right here. You walking away was part of your path, okay? You walking away from this person. So take that however it resonates to you, however that sits with you. I feel like that was a decision that you knew you had to make at one point or else nothing could move forward because you were going to stay in the same repetitive cycle. So you had to close it out. And I think that you are, you're, you're healing at this time. I always say the star card comes out when you need something the most or when you have wished and prayed for something huge to happen. So I, I see you being extremely hopeful. I see you healing i see you very optimistic about your own manifestations and about moving forward like i said like you're you're so comfortable with whether or not this person comes towards you or if it's a new person i feel like you are so comfortable being in this energy of i release that and i accept what is meant to be will just be so I feel like you're in this energy of co-creation here with the universe and you're really allowing the divine to work with you as above, so below. You're setting out intentions. You're being open. You want to start at ground zero, right? So we have two zeros here. You're really, you're really feeling renewed and this is what you're moving towards. Your energy is shifting and this is what you're looking forward to. You're really looking forward. You're really manifesting. You're setting out all the right intentions. And this is what, what's being gifted to you. Are these three aces here that we have on the table? Or my couch. <laughs> we have here the ace of swords, victory. The Ace of Wands really aligning to your passions and the Ace of Cups. So like I said before, even if this person comes towards you or not, let's try to not focus so much on the outcome, but let's really focus on how amazing your energy is right now with whatever happens, whether it's this person or someone else. The divine is going to gift you with exactly what you need. And I feel like you're in this energy of really open and receptive to accept that what will be will just be. That's the energy that I'm feeling here. This person... I feel like because we do have here the two of wands, this person is thinking, they're contemplating, okay? I don't see them making a um, an action to come forward just yet because we do have the seven of cups at the bottom. 
we have the Queen of Cups again, which is you looking at your own cup. You're not focused or confused on anything else. You're really focused on yourself. You're very intuitive, you're very receptive, and this is what you are doing. You're going within, you're focused on you, you're vibrating high, and that's exactly what you should do. And here we have the King of Swords underneath all of that. So I feel like this person is not clear yet on making a decision. Okay, I see them being very confused. I see them not knowing what to do. I do see them contemplating, trying to make a decision, trying to put their best foot forward. Um, but I don't see them just yet making that decision. Okay, for the month of February, um, I don't see that decision being made. But because this is my yes card, what I think is eventually they'll make a decision. Eventually. Okay? Because this is my yes card. <laughs> so, yes, they'll make a decision to come forward. But I think for you, knowing what you know, intuitively, you are okay whether or not they come towards you or not. Something tells me that you know this intuitively, that they will come towards you eventually. But I don't think that's your focus. You're not focused on them. You're really focused on you. And what you are doing is really trusting in the divine that what will be will be. Okay? So yes, but not yet. And you're really focused on you while they're trying to figure it out. Okay? Um, I do see that some of you are definitely going towards a entrepreneurship, um, like you're being self-employed is kind of what I see here with the Ace of Wands, because I did mention you are going towards your passions and this is going to bring a lot of success. Okay, so the divine is saying yes, follow your passions, follow your heart with whatever it is it is that you want to do. I feel like for a lot of you, you're really starting to understand what it is that makes you really happy and makes you get up every day and go to work. So I think for some of you, that is a really big yes, is to continue um, to pursue that, okay? Okay, so the signs that I see here are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aquarius, I see Libra, Gemini, I see Leo, I see Aries, and I see Virgo, okay? But it can really be any sign. So thank you so much for watching. I am sending you so much love, light, and protection. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Bye!